guys it's Tamika and welcome back to another episode of build your stash um, if you haven't seen round one I'll put those links down below We've created four th different embellishments that went out to three different people and um, this time around um, you guys we created I'm trying to get it together because I have to show you the vellum flowers the heart banners the fringe hearts the shaker coins and the yarn tassels all of these have video tutorials to show you guys how to make these if you want to follow me follow along with me in giving racks to other people racks by the way is random act of kindness and i am just sending happy mail out to people that support me here and have been supporting me for a long time so i am just sending out some happy mail and i'm sharing with you how to make them so um that's all that all the all of these will be down below in the description box Today is the last installment of round two in the um, Build Your Stash. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to make some um, tool flowers and put them on top of a clothespin. So really easy craft. I love making altered clothespin. This is Celebrated Tool from Michaels. And they come in a lot. I have lots of different colors of these. If I don't get the white plain ones from the Dollar Tree, I'll get these color ones from uh, Michaels. I have it in just so many colors. I love them. And they're fairly inexpensive, $3 or so. So when I bought these, I bought some other stuff and I used a 20% off all my um, elements, whatever, everything coupon. So I'm going to pull some tool and just enough. Here, this is like a really pretty sparkly tool. Okay, so I got about, I guess I can measure if you guys really want to know. So we got one, two, uh, two feet, four and a half inches. So 24, 28 inches about. Okay, so um and you don't need this much it's just how big you want how flat how big you want your flowers and so on so i'm going to fold it over all right and then i'm going to fold it over again and again and one more time till we get this nice little roll and i'm going to cut it in about a third so one two three okay so we're just going to use one for now Okay, and I'm going to use three fingers of my fingers for the width. I don't want it really, really big. I just want it a nice little flower. And then I'm going to roll it all the way over until it stops. Okay, take a little bit of trim or twine. All right, and put this right here in the middle. And tie a knot and just make it as tight as you can before you cut it slide it to where you want it to go okay now I'm gonna cut off the extra twine that I used to tie the knot with make sure I get my ends in here all right, this is what you should have. Okay, then you wanna just take the ends and just cut off just a sliver. You can also go through and find all the pieces and cut it that way. But it's easier for me if I just take these little ends and cut them, cut them off. And then just like you're making a pom-pom flower like out of tissue paper, you wanna separate all of these. But we're not gonna have them a circle, we're gonna have them as flat. So that's one side. That's Separate it and then kind of hold your middle so you don't lose where you are and separate all of these pieces. Just open up everything all the way around. All right, and you can kind of spread it out. Find your middle and start making this a flat flower. All right, once you reach your desired flower you're going to punch a couple circles i'm using some gold paper and a little circle punch 
I'm going to add some hot glue to one of the circles. And I'm going to add it to the back. Just like that. That's hot. Okay. So now, what you want to do is add one to the top. Try to line it up with the circle on the underneath. So then I took my scissors just to make it a little bit shabbier. Not, well, not as shabby because this is like clean and simple, but just to add a little bit extra, I guess. I just sliced them. Make sure you're cutting straight, not at an angle. And then you can clean it up making it your circle. You can use more tool or less tool. Depending on how you want it. This is a cute little flower. Super pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a clothespin. So these clothespin I got from, I'm not sure, but they have color on one side. So what I'm going to do is cover that up with some cardstock from the collection. Or no, this is from this is from one of the other collections that I've been using. But just use any coordinating cardstock. So I'm going to add some red tape to the back of this clothespin. And then I'm going to cut off all the extra all the way around. Okay, and peel this off. And then I'm going to lay it right on top. I'm going to get it close to the edge as possible. So I only have to cut one side. All right, and then we're just going to cut off all the extra. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to add a little heart, a little wooden heart. I'm just going to pick what side I want. I like this side. This is actually, these little hearts are table scatter from the Target bin from last year. And then I'm going to add this cute little charm with this polka dot bow on it. But I'm going to take off the charm component. And I'm going to add the bow to the heart. So the recipient can just use this as a just a cute little regular flower. I'm just going to put a little bit of let's see which way this is going. I'm just going to put a row of glue here and put the clothespin on top. really pretty and the recipient can use this to close packages or um, that's primarily what is this or they could take it off and use the flower by themselves which I have done several times so I'm gonna make one more um, set one more to complete the set and then I gotta make it two more times so I'll be back okay so I am back and um, this is the one that we just created right super pretty but I decided to change up the colors a little bit so I can um, just add a little bit more color. So instead, I made um, the sets like this um, with the pink clothespin and the white and then this really pretty pink charm. And then I made the um, tool, the aqua color tool with the white and the gold on the background. So they'll be in the package like that.
So um, this is super cute, but I'm going to save it for another craft, another time. So now we got to package these up. Um, and I've already made my other set. So um, when I was on my little roll, I was like, oh, well, I might as well just make all the rest of the sets. So I'm going to package them up. And I cut some uh, paper down that's from the collection um, in the bloom. All right. And then I'm going to use a little piece of acetate. I'm just measuring a little bit shorter than this cardstock. And I'm going to put the clothespins on. I'm going to put the clothespins on some pop dots. There's some dimensionals in the back. The recipient can, again, take the flowers off or not, or use the clothespin as an embellishment or not. <laughs> but the pop dots will come off easily off of this acetate. And then put one on the back of this one. Put this in the opposite direction there. And you can cut off this extra paper or extra acetate. And I'm going to use a little bit of oops, adhesive. Did I put anything on there? No, I didn't. I'm going to use a little bit of adhesive on that cardstock and then put this on top. Super pretty. All right, and then I'm going to place these beautifuls. They're so pretty, super pretty. I'm gonna place these in the bag, just like so. All right, and close that up. And we're gonna add some ATG tape to the side so we can fold it over. Just cut off the extra. Super cute, super cute. All right, I have a coordinating topper that I use my um, my die cutting machine to cut out. I'm gonna put this at the top. And then it's just gonna go even that out a bit okay thank you and I'm going to use a little bit more of this ribbon just like that just get a little piece I'm going to cut a little fish tail down here to get this leaf trim on here put a little dot at the top and put that leaf up there and just find a little ending point for this part of the leaf cut off the extra okay and then I'm going to I made a cute little um, a little tiny one in pink a little flower a little puffy flower I'll just clean up these edges yeah I was tooling a lot <laughs> And I'm going to just add some glue, put that over here on the top. Add a cute little heart to that. And a 
little gold gem. To the center. So pretty. Let me show you the other ones. Super cute. Really, really cute. I love them. Aren't they just adorable? Super, super pretty. So now I am done with the second um, second round of the Build Your Stash. I'm going to bring out the other ones. You guys know this was coming. We have the Tool Hearts. And then we have the Tassels. And the Punched um, Stitch Hearts or Sewn Hearts. Forget what I called them. The Vellum. Crystal Vellum Flowers. The Fringe Hearts. And the oval shakers. So that completes this round. Um, I hope the recipients like what I created um, for them. There will be three ladies still be getting um, these things. So let's see. You have that and that. I do just like going back and looking. Like I can make these and just keep them in my stash. And just look at them. Is there anything missing? Oh, the tassels. So, this is what that looked like. I'm going to package it up in a little envelope and make a little card or use a card or use some tag or something and send it on its merry way. So, I hope the recipient liked what I created. This completes this session. I have tutorials for all of these items. Everything will be linked down below. All right, guys. I will see you guys next time. Like the video if you like it. Tag me on Instagram if you decide to make your own. Thank you so much for the ladies that have been doing it. I really appreciate it and love what you're doing. All right, bye.